Well, welcome to the longest day of the year, also the first day of summer. Uh, the equinox here, June 21st, and we're going to talk about soybeans because typically at this time of the year we look at soybeans starting into R1 or that flowering stage. Uh, we know that happens typically around this summer solstice. There's exceptions to the rule. I actually saw some beans flowering last week on a hailed field. Uh, we'll see some of these uh, take a while, especially some later planted beans. But, but we're in that phase now. So we want to talk about a couple management tips. You can see we're getting some blooms coming out here. Uh, we expect to see flowering at these nodal sites here in the next few days. If white mold is a concern, uh, we talked about that quite a bit last year in the winter meetings. What can we do about it? We need to get those fungicides on now. Uh, looking back, uh, we got to protect these flowering sites. Once they're infected uh, with those spores from white mold that's overwintered, then we get into the problems of it rearing its ugly head in August, uh, September. So their infection point happens now. Uh, we get some splattering up on these, especially these lower flowers, and that's where we'll see that. So we need to protect now. If that's a concern of yours, now is the time to go with the fungicide. Uh, Maribus Neo, Approach Prima have labels. Uh, check with us, make sure you get your rates and your timings right. Uh, it's not a time for cut rate if you're protecting against white mold. We need to go those full rates. So we'll be uh, happy to help you with it. The other thing when we're looking at these flowering is we want to save as many flowers as we can, get them all out in that same window. Otherwise, we get an uneven pod set, which is just like uneven emergence in corn. Uh, we have pods that outcompete others, and, and we'll abort some of those pods later on. So uh, realize right now, along with the micronutrient pack, is, is one of our key management focuses. So that's the soybeans. Uh, looking at the corn side, you know, we're all over the board from hail to replanted. We spent quite a bit of time replanting Hastings this weekend on, on quite a few acres. Uh, it's a tough go, but there's some corn hitting that V7 to V10 stage. Uh, as we hit that V7 to V10, uh, we start looking at those early fungicide applications on corn as well, especially if you have that a strategy of protecting that ear leaf, uh, which comes out typically around V12, V14. So a little early for that, although if you're making a pass across the field, uh, I know some of you are putting that in now. Also micronutrients and, and just getting that side dress finished up. Hopefully we've got our weed control done now. Uh, we're watching for rootworm uh, like we have been in previous weeks, just starting to pick up a little bit of larval activity. Fortunately, we haven't seen any beetle or any major insect outbreaks, but we'll keep our eye out. So wish you a safe week. Enjoy the longest day of the year. For those of you like me that love sunshine, this is your day. So we'll hope the sun stays out, the weather stays away, and, and everyone has a good week this week.